What's up, trombone friends? We're gonna be going over how to put hand slide cream on and main tuning slide grease on. So without further ado, what do you need? You need your trombone pieces. Okay, I'm gonna disassemble mine. Um, we're gonna do this in, in different parts because if we try to do it all with the instrument put together, it might be a little bit hard. And since you're doing this for the first time, why make it hard for yourself? So disassemble your trombone. We're gonna do the easy one first. We're gonna do the tuning slide grease. So we're gonna get um, this big part out. Now I've got extra tubing on my trombone. Don't let that freak you out or make you feel weird. Um, you are only gonna have this one, okay? So take the big one out, okay? You'll notice that mine came out pretty easily. Yours may be a little bit harder, so don't like break it or anything. Um, use your strength on it, but if it gets too hard, have um, an experienced person with tools or whatever, um, not use tools, but pull on it, okay? So I've got my tuning slide uh, grease, this is the grease, not the cream, grease, in my hands. Yours may look slightly different than mine. I'm gonna rub a bunch on my finger. I'm gonna get my finger nice and nasty. Yummy! <laughs> Close up my grease. Now, if you don't have any grease with you, that's gonna be kind of hard to do this. Um, I would suggest going to the music store and grabbing some. Um, it's called grease, not cream. So when you go in the music store, they might say something to you like, are you sure your band director didn't say cream for the hand slide? No, we're doing the main tuning slide, okay? This is called the main tuning slide. And you want the grease. All right, so once you got it on there, rubbed it around, I hope you saw all that. I just literally put it on there. My fingers are all greasy and nasty, but the, the tuning slide grease is all up on there, okay? Once I get that on there, then I'm gonna find the big end, line it up with the big hole, Find small end, line up a small hole. All right, there we go, I think I got it. I'm gonna put it on. And sometimes you have to kind of rock these things in place. It might get stuck up here, and you might have to do like this number. Um, I've experienced that on a lot of trombones, believe it or not. Uh, so just kind of do the best you can. And then remember kind of where your trombone was at. My trombone is best, closest to in tune when it's about that far out, but your, yours may differ. All right, take a second, do that on your own. Um, Actually, don't do that on your own. I'm sorry. No, no, don't do that on your own. Um, keep watching because you're going to do all this at one time for the video camera, right? The whole whole goal here is you're going to show me on camera yourself doing these things. Okay. The next thing you're going to show me is the hand slide. This is the part that kind of gets people the most in trouble uh, because once we take this um, mechanism off, this hand slide off, we expose the silver part of the slide. And this is the most important part of our playing instrument. If we don't have this working, we can't change notes. If it doesn't move fast, we can't play fast. So make sure when you go to pull it out, you're not in a weird situation where you got brothers and sisters being crazy around you. You need some space to yourself so that nobody comes around and knocks into you or um, throws anything at your trombone slide. You'll notice that mine looks like this. Um, take note that when you pull it off, you need to make sure that the um, it's kind of set up the way that your trombone normally is, where your water key is on your right hand side, and the longer end that screws into the bell attachment is towards you. Um, when you go to pull it all the way off, you could get confused and, and turn that upside down and put the, the water key on the wrong side, and that would be that would be sad. For me, that's very obvious when it's wrong because my locking mechanism will hit up against the metal instead of on the inside of the other slide. So that's just kind of like tips of the trade. You may end up finding that your trombone slide's not going all the way in. If that's the case, then flip it around. You did it on the wrong side. Okay. With that said, um, I'm going to aim my camera down without cutting it off, hopefully. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my slide cream. Mine looks like this, Your may, yours may look a little different. I'm going to literally uh, pull this guy up. I'm not even gonna take it all the way out, honestly. Zoom in a little bit. I'm going to uh, squirt some on the slide. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm going to rub that around. Ooh, yummy, this is nasty. Guys, if you're squeamish and don't like liquidy things, just, <laughs> you'll be all right, okay? 
Um, one thing that I will caution you about, if you do it this method, don't go too far out with the trombone slide because what will happen is, is your um, slide will come all the way out and it will hit the, hit the ground and then you're like sitting there with a, a handful of grease and your outer slide is on the floor and you're crying going like, I can't do this, it's too hard. Okay, so um, I am going to start putting it in. You'll notice that as you start pushing it in, you're going to have a bunch of excess cream that comes out. Um, if you look right here, it's pretty gross. It's like coming out right there. So what I'm going to do is instead of putting it all the way in, I'm going to grab my napkin and I'm going to start wiping on the edge. You can't see it. I'm going to wipe on the edge where the brass part is and try to get that off. Okay, and then and then I'm gonna be done. I think I think I got it from there. So I'm just using a tissue, by the way, to wipe my hands off. I am gonna wash my hands with soap and water after this, but for the purposes of the video, I wanna just get it done so you can see. Now, you'll notice that my slide still kinda of looks like it's, um, number one, got some stuff hanging out on the top, so I'm gonna wipe that off. But your slide, hopefully, is starting to rub all that cream in. You'll notice it's a little bit wet. I've been playing lately, so my slide already had some moisture on it. So when I go to move my slide now, I'm gonna feel a little bit more resistance. All that means is that your slide cream is doing its job. The more that you play, the um, less resistant it will become and it'll go back to the way it was kind of earlier where it was kind of faster to move. Now, if yours was chunky monkey, all right, if yours was on the chunky side and it wasn't moving real fast, you felt this like kind of grind to the metal, then you might have a bigger problem, like you need to get your trombone slide worked on by a professional. Um, or you might find that it is resistant and then it goes back to grindy as it gets more. So mine right now is more resistant. I can feel it. It feels, um, in my mind, a little better. So if you're having any trouble with your trombone not coming back to normal playing, um, speed with your hand slide, you can put a couple drops of water on it. Um, literally just like take a, a cup of water and like drop your fingers in and then sprinkle a couple drops there and then work it in. Okay. It's not going to take long for it to, to do right. Okay. So you need to show me on camera yourself doing those. Oh my gosh, there's my face. Hello. Warts and all. <laughs> I zoomed in as I tilted it up. Cool. Um, so you need to show me on camera yourself putting the tuning slide grease on the main tuning slide, the first thing we did, and then you need to show me the hand slide, getting your hand slide cream on. Once you've done that, your job is over. Could take you as little as two or three minutes, okay? So uh, do your best, record that in Canvas. Make sure you use the tutorial video on how to record in Canvas if you have any questions. Reach out if you have any major issues. I don't want you by yourself crying and being sad, okay? Um, all right, have a great day. I'll look forward to seeing these videos. You're awesome. Bye-bye.